Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Firstly, I'd like to thank all my subscribers who have subscribed and to everyone who's been watching my videos and making my channel become quite popular. Thank you, thank you very much. Today, we're going to make a weaving loom that will make pom-pom blankets for prams and cots and things. This is the one that I've made. This is the size that I've chosen to make. Now these battens that are down here on the floor, I got these from the garden centre in B&M Bargains. They were only 59 pence so I'm not losing a lot of money. It's not going to cost me a lot to make this loom. I you know I always try and do things a little cheaper for everybody to try. You can buy these, these are actual dahlia sticks and you can buy them a little wider but for the very first loom that I'm going to make I'm going to try these. These are one inch square and they're two meters long. Don't worry about the points, we will be cutting them off. Now what you need to begin with is two battens at 21 and a half inches long and then cut another two battens at 31 inches long. So once we've done that I'm going to show you a diagram that I've made so that you can easily follow it and just show you where the parts go. You'll need some nails, one and a half inch, you'll need a hammer and you'll need some angle joints. I'll show you them in a little while. Now as you can see here, on the bottom and the top the batten is 21 and a half inches and the side battens are 31 and a half inches. You need to put 14 nails in the top and the bottom each and 21 nails each on the long side. What you need to do is you need to find the center point of your battens of wood and that is here and here. So what you're going to have is you're going to have like a crossover point at your joint. Now I'm going to put metal angle joints in here to hold this together. You can put them on the outside as well if you want. That's these. I'm going to put these in there like that once I've got the wood cut to the size that I need. You can get longer ones and put them on the outside to strengthen it if you want. So these are angle brackets. What you do is go from this point here and just measure one and a half inches and then do the same here. Measure your one and a half inches. Whatever size of frame you're making to get your starting point, do this. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to mark one and a half inches all the way around the frame. And these are the little points where you're going to knock your nails in. Now the nails I'm going to use are one and a half inch nails. You can use longer nails. So just go around your frame, the whole frame, marking one and a half inches. Just put a little line. Now as you can see on the frame, this dark line that is all the way around, I just marked halfway across my batten. What it does is it keeps your nails in a straight line. So here we are. These are the nails that I'm going to use. These are one and a half inch nails, they're round wire nails and it only cost me about £1.55 for that whole bag. I got them at B&Q actually, that whole bag. So there we go, we're going to put those in. They do have a little head on them. 
Now here we are. This is the frame with the nails all in. This bottom part has 14 nails and so does the top. Now each of the long sides has 21 nails and that is the frame complete. Now all we need to do is wrap some wool on it. I will show that in a new tutorial. Now I want to thank everybody for watching. Please give this a try. I made this for less than £5. Less than £5 for this frame. Now thank you for everyone who's watched my tutorials. Please subscribe and I'll love to see you all back again for the next tutorial where I'll put some wool on this and I'll show you how to make a pom-pom blanket.